Voices of Today presents Kubla Khan or A Vision in a Dream A Fragment by Samuel Taylor Coleridge Performed by Dennis Daly The following fragment is here published at the request of a poet and deserved celebrity and, as far as the author's own opinions are concerned, rather as a psychological curiosity than on the grounds of any supposed poetic merits. In the summer of the year 1797, the author, then in ill health, had retired to a lonely farmhouse between Porlock and Linton, on the Exmoor confines of Somerset and Devonshire. In consequence of a slight indisposition, an anodyne had been prescribed, from the effects of which he fell asleep in his chair at the moment that he was reading the following sentence, or words of the same substance, in Purchaser's Pilgrimage. Here the Kubla Khan commanded a palace to be built, and a stately garden thereunto, and thus ten miles of fertile ground were enclosed with a wall. The author continued for about three hours in a profound sleep, at least of the external senses, during which time he had the most vivid confidence that he could not have composed less than two to three hundred lines, if that indeed can be called composition, in which all the images rose up before him as things, with a parallel production of the correspondent expressions, without any sensation or consciousness of effort. On awaking, he appeared to himself to have a distinct recollection of the whole, and, taking his pen, ink and paper, instantly and eagerly wrote down the lines that are here preserved. At this moment he was unfortunately called out by a person on business from Porlock, and detained by him above an hour, and on his return to his room found, to his no small surprise and mortification, that though he still retained some vague and dim recollection of the general purport of the vision, yet with the exception of some eight or ten scattered lines and images, all the rest had passed away like the images on the surface of a stream into which a stone has been cast, but, alas, without the after-restoration of the latter. Then all the charm is broken, all that phantom world so fair vanishes, and a thousand circlets spread, and each misshapes the other. Stay a while, poor youth, who scarcely darest lift up thine eyes. The stream will soon renew its smoothness, soon the visions will return. And lo, he stays, and soon the fragments dim of lovely forms come trembling back, unite, and now once more the pool becomes a mirror. From Coleridge's The Picture, or The Lover's Resolution, lines 91 to 100. Yet from the still surviving recollections in his mind, the author, I shall sing a sweeter song today, but the tomorrow is yet to come. Kubla Khan In Sanadu did Kubla Khan a stately pleasure dome decree, where Alf, the sacred river, ran through caverns measureless to man, down to a sunless sea. So twice five miles of fertile ground with walls and towers were girdled round, and there were gardens bright with sinuous rills where blossomed many an incense-bearing tree, and here were forests ancient as the hills enfolding sunny spots of greenery. But, oh, that deep romantic chasm which slanted down the green hill athwart a cedarn cover, a savage place, as holy and enchanted as e'er beneath a waning moon was haunted by woman wailing for her demon lover. And from this chasm, with ceaseless turmoil seething, as if this earth in fast thick pants were breathing, a mighty fountain momently was forced, amid whose swift half-intermitted burst huge fragments vaulted like rebounding hail or chaffy grain beneath the thresher's flail. Amid these dancing rocks at once and ever it flung up momently the sacred river, five miles meandering with a mazy motion through wood and dale the sacred river ran, 
then reached the caverns measureless to man and sank in tumult to a lifeless ocean and mid this tumult kubla heard from far ancestral voices prophesying war the shadow of the dome of pleasure floated midway on the waves where was heard the mingled measure from the fountain and the caves it was a miracle of rare device a sunny pleasure dome with caves of ice a damsel with a dulcimer in a vision once i saw it was an abyssinian maid and on her dulcimer she played singing of mount abora could i revive within me her symphony and song to such a deep delight twould win me that with music loud and long i would build that dome in air that sunny dome those caves of ice and all who heard should see them there and all should cry beware beware his flashing eyes his floating hair weave a circle round him thrice and close your eyes with holy dread for he on honey-dew hath fed and drunk the milk of paradise <laughs>